So this is going to be a Capricorn Sun Moon and as well rising weekly career tarot reading, career and business tarot reading December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. And uh, if you do guys uh, wish to get in touch with me for a private reading or you want to take a look at uh, your love and relationship tarot reading for that very same week, you can check the description down below in this video. And there you're going to find a link both uh, to my website and as well to the other video of your week, which is love and relationship. So the first one uh, in regards to your career here, which is the topic, we do have the Ace of Wands followed by the energies that are supporting the topic. We do have the Knights of Pentacles. The third one is going to be the challenge and uh, that is going to be the challenge that you need to stand against and this is going to be the three of wands. Afterwards, we do have... <coughs> <coughs> oh my... <coughs> oh my God. The gifts and the... <clears throat> the gifts and the blessings that uh, you will uh, have to enjoy throughout the week oh my god i'm sorry guys <coughs> i'm gonna choke myself on my own air so that is going to be the four of uh, cups followed by the fifth one which uh, stands as a how the other people sees you and that will be the tree of uh, pentacles i mean your colleagues your partners um <clears throat> your bosses and supervisors that is going to be the tree of pentacles Followed by the next one, which represents the um, <clears throat> what is going to help your long-term goals. <coughs> and that will be the uh, temperance card. Followed by the uh, seventh card, which is about what is going to hurt your long-term goals. This will be the um, devil card. And then the last one, which represents the guidance that Tsar is offering for you, um, Capricorns, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Oh my God, I get so excited that I really would have choked on my own saliva. It was... Oh. Oh. Anyway, so... The topic and the energies, well, that is about new proposition or about, at the very least, the new gaining for enterprise. Well, literally what those two cards points for you, Capricorns, throughout this week, the doors for your career developments, development has opened. Why, you would ask? Well, because you worked for it. This is what the energy said. Uh, the energies here tell us or are telling us that whatever... The gaining for enterprise is going to be for you, new job, new project, new ways of earning money and so on and so forth. It is based on your personal dedication, hardship, hard work, the uh, awareness of what, you, uh, of what you want as well, your uh, meticulous preparation, consistency and etc. etc. So in other words, you earned it and it is yours to enjoy. Now with those two cards as well, uh, you have a great deal to uh, grow on skills and knowledge as well. Now, this new enterprise uh, as a new job, new project, you know, or new ways of earning money will require from you to additionally improve yourself uh, by being self-taught. So you are going to get the hang of it. And this, um, the whole process may intimidate some of you and that resides into the challenge here, which is the next card that is going to be the three of, of uh, wands. Pointing that you are going to find it challenging to believe that you are actually sitting on a solid ground and uh, that it is simply worth it that your ship has came about and you now need to board it and sail set sail, excuse me, toward conquering a new shores with the Tree of Wands. Now, the Tree of Wands, it points to that uh, the circumstances are to be aligned exactly for what you worked for. <clears throat> and uh, as a challenging thing, you may kind of find it difficult to believe that it is 
true or in other words we say it too good to be true but uh, also three of ones uh, kind of refers to the improvement of skills and knowledge in other words challenging yourself to find new ways or to improve your current ways that also is going to be challenging for you especially for those capricorns who are stubborn and thinks that they know everything and that they are they literally have nothing more to learn <clears throat> So the other card points to the gifts and the blessings uh, for you and we do have the Four of Cups. So Four of Cups uh, kind of gives you the option of uh, choosing that is the gift and the blessing for you. You can sit in one place and just consume the fruits of your labor you have already sustained and you have already earned or you can take on this um, New gaining for enterprise once again, which uh, uh, with this card, by the way, will require solid mental strength and awareness, and awareness to be seized. And uh, to be seized, and it's all about believing in the better future, if you will, of having a clamor that actually that thing is going to work out. Because maybe at the start you be skept you can be skeptical, uh, skeptical about it. Now, the Four of Cups also points that new reaches are awaiting for you, new lucrative uh, ventures, you know, new lucrative jobs as well. That is also a, a gift and a blessings that this week is given to you. So whatever new comes about to you guys, whatever proposition you have, whatever new enterprise comes about, all right, uh, <clears throat> whatever idea comes to your head, it will be worth exploring big time. And um, if you kind of like lack uh, confidence that you can deal with it well that is exactly the sign you are waiting for to jump to jump exactly into uh, that direction or the doubts that is going to produce results as well could be also a sign for you to prove it other way around now how if the others are going to see you your co-workers your partners in business your boss a supervisor and so on and so forth <clears throat> that is going to be the tree of pentacles and they're going to see you as a someone worthy of support, as a someone who now deserves to be supported through their development, meaning that your boss, for example, may pay for a future education, sign you for certain courses, uh, you know, um, educa education, I said it, qualifications, um, and, um, and generally those kind of enterprises that you are learning it's kind of scholarship i don't know how to say it in english additionally to that people are going to see you as a quite open to expand type of uh, type of an individual and that's why you may expect to be approached by many of your co-workers for example people from a different department into your uh, in your job or to be shared a uh, new ideas to try out and once again you got to give it a go you got to give it a try all right do not be biased about the results of one or another idea even if it seems stupid or for example it does seems that it is way too much of a work it will produce results uh, and uh, the next card here for you Capricorns for your career it is what is going to help your long-term goals now that is kind of like combines uh, the previous cards that will be the temperance and it kind of points to few things first of all it is that you need to show compassion to those whom you are working with and also you need to show that you believe in them as well uh, what I mean is that you know someone comes about with the uh, idea don't try to smother and slumber that idea because um, with the temperance mm, well uh, with the tem with the temperance you need to have the how can i say it you need to respect the other people's findings and the other people's um, ideas as well and way of doing things also I mean everybody has their own uh, established place under the sun and just because one person produces a different product than you it doesn't mean or the than you are expecting it doesn't mean that this product doesn't worth it this is what I'm trying to say additionally to that especially career-wise the temperance points that tackling with all the chores 
that you are setting aside and ignoring up until this moment is going to serve you great way expanding into your career moving forward. Now, the other card, it is what can hurt your uh, career goal in the long run, and that is the devil. This is the um, abusing your authority and your power over those that you are working with or you're working for or you are uh, or you have as an, an employee as well and also greed okay just because you are seeing that you are on the right track here and things are now opening for you you do have the doors you do have the opportunities that doesn't mean that you cannot screw it around okay so don't be overconfident do not be greedy very very important and uh, the last card here uh, represents um, yeah, and enforcing your opinion as well, which is the uh, abusing the authority, I mean. It's, um, it's like having your way regardless of the consequences, regardless of uh, the circumstances. So um, the last card that we do have for you, Capricorn, career-wise, this is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. And that is the card pointing that after you're done with all that, uh, you deserve a break. It's kind of like a break of worries, I would say. Uh, it's important with the Seven of Pentacles to understand that there is always a, a better way, that there is always a, a better performance, that there is always where one can grow toward, but this new ways, these new uh, fields of growth can only be established when one is fully aware what one needs to invest. So what that card at the end gives us as a guidance is that if the results does not match your expectations, that is because you are underperforming and you can definitely do better, especially with what is in store for you throughout this week. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly career and business tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, if you want to get in touch with me for a, a personal reading or you want to check out your love and relationship tarot reading for this uh, very same week, you can check the description down below and there you're going to find both links. Um, that is going to lead you toward to my website or um, to the other video of the week for Capricorn. And uh, we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.